Negative travel advisories about Trinidad are nothing new. Several governments have in the past warned their citizens about the crime situation here. Tobago seemed to have escaped the brunt of the negative publicity. The honeymoon period is, however, over. During the last few months, travel advisories have been warning about crime on the Sister Isles. The worst fears of the Tobago House of Assembly and the Tourism Ministry have now come to fruition. Visitor arrivals to Tobago are being negatively affected. The Tourism Ministry and the THA have teamed up to see how best they can improve security on the island. The first measure is a redeployment of police officers and soldiers to conduct joint patrols in specific areas in which there has been an increase in criminal activities. Added to that would effect from March 9th of 2006. A platoon of soldiers with sidearms was posted to Tobago to support the efforts and to make as safe as possible those areas frequented by visitors. Additional vehicles have also been leased and officers who have been specially trained in strategic crime control have been sent to Tobago. Directors have also been given to supervisory staff at police stations to ensure that there's a more professional and timely response to reports, including those from visitors. Counseling will also be provided by the Tobago House of Assembly to deal with visitors who are victims of crime. A contingent of 30 members of the Trinidad and Tobago Defense Force have since been deployed to the island to maintain what Minister Chinley describes as confidence patrols. The government has continued and will continue to ensure that not only our citizens are provided protection, but as well as our tourists who are arriving to the island of Tobago. I'm Regine Skyle News.